Oh man, I have been very lazy. I haven't made a video in several months. I have moved. Clearly the background is very different, but I am back because I thought of a good idea for a video. So as I just said, I ended up moving pretty far away from where I used to live, about 500 miles. I'm living on my own, have to pay all the bills, all that. So I would look up online like average cost of living and blah, blah, blah. How much is the average electric bill, gas bill, water, monthly cost of food, obviously the rent, shit like that, right? And what I've found is every YouTube video that I've seen has given such a large estimate of what it would be that it almost made it kind of pointless. It would be like, you know, Average utility bills, you know, could be $50, could be $500. It's like, bro, then why even put it up if you're you're virtually just guessing? I didn't see any video of a person literally going through their bills. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing in this video. I live on my own now. I have all my monthly expenses on my notes and I'm gonna run through them. So hopefully for you guys, if you're moving out soon, it could give you a better base of comparison than to just be like, the expenses could be $1,000, they could be $10,000. It's like. Dude, why, why even put that up online, honestly? I will give you a couple things about my place. I live in a townhouse and I pay rent. It is three floors, so that is heating and or cooling for three different floors, and it's about 2,000 square feet. Now it is pretty new. I would say this is under five year old construction, so it's not like, you know, if you're in a house that's 100 years old, it's gonna take a lot more money to heat the house just because of the lack of, you know, better heating system, better cooling system. So I am in something that's pretty new and I think that's kind of it. So I think we're just gonna start running through it. First thing is rent for me. So this place cost me $2,225 a month. For 2,000 square feet, that's pretty good. I do live in the South now. So anybody living in the Northeast area, like I used to live, if you want 2,000 square feet, you are not getting $2,200 a month in rent. You're probably getting almost double that, especially if it's pretty nice. So that's clearly my biggest expense of the month, 2225. So next up we have car insurance, I just have one car. I have a 2015 Civic paid off completely and I still pay $200 a month in car insurance. I'm 26 by the way. I'm not like a 20 year old kid where the insurance would be higher because they think I'm like a reckless driver just being a kid. So I still pay $200 a month. I bet if I really wanted to I could find another insurance company that would be like around 150 ish but that's how much I pay $200 a month. So I have two different utility bills from companies that are all kind of the same thing. So the first one that I just got, I could even put up a little picture of it. I think it's like water, sewer, electric, it's like garbage, a whole bunch of things. That was $141 this month. And I think I think that also includes gas, but then my second bill is a gas bill, natural gas bill. I don't really know the difference. Maybe I'm just talking out of my ass and I didn't even see what I was actually being billed for on the first bill, but so the first one was $141 for water, electric, sewer, all of that for my place. 2,000 square feet, three floors. I have four bedroom, three and a half bath. So 141 bucks is not really that bad, I, I think in my Mind. The natural gas bill is also 80. So in total, it's kind of like $250. It's like 220, honestly, but still that is way less than I remember seeing people said that it could be like $350, $400 for utilities a month. Now we are in November right now, and it is kind of hovering between anywhere from like 50 to 80 degrees. It is actually kind of jumping all around, but we're not in the, you know, 30 degree weather where I will be obviously paying more money for heat because it'll be very cold out. So even with my pretty large place and having to heat or cool three floors at once, we're only talking about a little bit over $200 in utilities for me. I have internet here. I have AT&T fiber, one gig up, one gig down for $80 a month. That one's obviously pretty necessary, especially with me making videos online. But, and I would say my last very necessary thing, clearly. And then we'll start getting into like random miscellaneous bills that you would also probably have is food. And I pay about $750 a month. I could probably, if I really wanted to be frugal, get it to around half. I could do a lot of egg whites, a lot of like ground chicken type of meals, you know, protein shakes, like there's like powdered peanut butter stuff that would be a lot more of the working out type of healthy food, but for pretty cheap. However, I really enjoy uh, Monster, and that's almost two to three dollars a can now. And uh, I don't, I have, I have a lot a day. All right, I'm just gonna say that now. 
I don't want to say how much because I know that there'll be people who will think that I should stop because I'm going to have like heart palpitations and a heart attack, but I spend a lot of money on Monster a month. I'm just going to say that. And then I also like getting like those Quest protein bars and not even the ones that you would get in the 12 pack. There's ones that are in like four packs for like $10. And then I'll run through, I'll eat all of them in like a day or two. So $750 a month for one person is a good amount of money. You could probably lower it if you were a little bit smarter, but I don't know. I'm just walking through Target, you know, getting random crap that I need. That's like milk, you know, super cheap stuff. And then I end up spending a solid amount of money on like monster and protein bars for, for no reason. So 750 for that. We'll get into some of the miscellaneous ones. So if you saw the video with the YouTube automation stuff, I said that I now have a 24 seven live stream on those channels. That cost me a hundred dollars a month because it's not like it's running on my computer. You know, my computer would like basically be dead if it was running all these streams nonstop. Even it just would take too much power. So that's a hundred dollars a month for me. I also am in a Discord server that honestly I don't really use as much anymore, but for the sneaker portion of my reselling business, I had that and that's $60 a month. I also go to a gym that is very close to me that is very expensive. It's $100 a month. However, the closest gym after the one that's it's literally three minutes away from my house. The next best one is about 25 minutes away. So I would almost lose an hour a day commuting just for it to be cheaper. But I mean, $100 is a lot of money, but that's what I pay for my gym membership. My previous one where I used to live was only like $25 a month. So you could definitely find a gym that's way cheaper than $100 a month. I also have an AMC pass that is, you know, obviously for the movies, that's another $25 a month. And then I have YouTube premium. So that is, I think $12 a month right now. It's kind of all over the place. I've seen some people pay like $9 a month. I used to pay 15. It's, it's kind of variable. I don't know, but clearly I watch a ton of YouTube. I have YouTube premium. That is one of them that I have. I also have Peacock for the Premier League. That is $6 a month now. Then of course you have other stuff. I mean, like phone bills. I think you can combine them with like internet and TV, but I'm pretty sure just normal phone bills are about $70. So you could just add into that. But that is kind of it for all of my stuff. You could add in, you know, Netflix, Hulu. I mean, there's millions of them, HBO Max. All of those could be variable to you. If you have all of those subscriptions, I would most likely try to look it up on my Flixer, but you know, that's it's just my opinion. But in total, my monthly expenses right now, living alone, is about $3,779. So that doesn't include gas, any other, you know, car maintenance, if that comes up, oil changes, all the crap that I had to buy, you know, all the furniture and stuff. I, I could probably make a separate video about that, but like I said, moved about 500 miles away from where I lived. I packed it all up into a pods type of trailer and sent it down here. I didn't have really much, honestly, that I sent down here. I bought virtually all of my furniture here right now, but that still cost me or a little bit over $2,000. And in total, getting all the furniture, all the utensils, all the TVs, the stands, PlayStation stuff, you know, like computer monitors, everything, you know, the bed right here. In total, that cost me around twenty to $25,000. So if you guys have any sort of plans of moving long distance, you could probably start putting that into your mind that it'll be around $20,000 if you, you could probably grind it out and find some stuff that's cheaper, but I ended up just getting like new furniture, TVs, all of that. So again, I know it is, it could be variable, but if you say that my expenses are around $4,000 a month, it'll cost me almost $50,000 a year to live on my own around here. So it is pretty high. It would be much higher if I lived in the Northeast. So, so in total, an entire year of me moving and my expenses living here will be a little bit under $75,000. So hopefully that'll give you some sort of estimate of what it would kind of cost for you. Clearly you get something way cheaper or way more expensive. It's just, I've seen tons of videos that they're just like on the fence of saying how much it actually costs to like live on your own. They could be like, oh, it's like $2,000 a month or it could be $20,000 a month. It's like, I, it was, it was basically no help when I was trying to look it up. So at least 
Hopefully this kind of video could help you. If you like this kind of financial help or advice or whatever you wanna call it, I can go into more detail about other things. Like I said, I just kind of estimated that it was around 20,000, 25,000 to get all of my crap that is actually in the place, let alone like the $4,000 a month in expenses just to live here. I can go into more detail in that, but yeah, hopefully I put a, a lot of information in this video as quick as possible. I will be making more videos very soon. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and I'll talk to you guys later.